I do kind of wish there was like another world though or something because I always just felt that this game this game just I feel like this game just kind of ends too fast. I don't know. Right. Well, this is obviously when, when we're excluding the Battle Origin stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not counting any of that because that's just, like, the first game. Well, not the first game, but you know what I mean. I don't want to call that... Well, it's not padding. The, the Battle Origin stuff. No, because you don't need to do it. It's, like, optional stuff. Hi, Xavier. Uh... I think it's more just, um, more bang for your buck. Yeah. I, from why I'm, I, I think, I've heard that, um, the Back to Origin stuff was just added because of the whole, um, releasing on other consoles thing. I could be wrong about that, but I remember hearing that, um, oh, I thought that, never mind. Um, I remember hearing that they just added that because they just had nothing else to do, so they just put it in the game. But I could oh, be wrong. I'm so screw it. Ah! Yeah, that's what I've heard. I could be wrong, but... That would be really funny if that's the case. We can do this because why not? Yeah. So we got nothing better to do. Shrug. Just a shrug emote, nothing else. Yeah. Infiltration station. Oh, I remember this one. Yep. This is the one where we gotta use a, move an object around to manipulate the light. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I was gonna work a Murphy in this version. Uh, well, we'll see. I guess. You did. Have you f you finished this game, right? Of course. Okay. Ah. I love how quickly you can correct yourself. Yeah, it's not just immediately screwed unless like oh. a laser. <laughs> I was expecting that electric ball to go away. Uh huh. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else? Besides death. Okay, I don't. Doesn't look like I can reach that. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh, here we go. I'm interested to see seeing how this goes because. No, we you one. Yeah, you just kind of have to drag this ball around. You hit A and he moves slowly. Yeah. Ah. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, that works. Uh, there's a thing in there in the middle. What? So I was just thinking to myself. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see cool. you up that's... there. I see what you do. Crap. Yep. Yeah, the one over to the left. Well, maybe he was trying to call to there. Yeah. All oh, right, so. Ah, no. <laughs> Just drop. My, my, my ass! <laughs> uh, oh, me. I do feel like it's kind of reactionary, kind of like switching over buttons. Yeah. Yeah. No, like Murphy kind of gets there. <laughs> that's fine. He's just like, nope! Right. I mean, if it was a re if it was the laser, then it would be a problem. But I oh, know I did that wrong. How do we? I'm supposed to cut that rope. Uh. Oh, that's why he was like, "Hey." Yeah. No, oh, dang it. Too not early. like not like that. Oh yeah, too early. There we go. Hey. How do you feel? So like, now that you've like, like, cause like, 
like, how do you feel about, like, Murphy being contact sensitive? Like, overall. Um... It's made some bits more interesting, probably, right? It's definitely, um... It's definitely, uh, interesting to see how they, um... Change it to accommodate for it, but... Um, I Cause, think... Like, well, cause, like, this... Cause, like, you said before, like, um, in the... In the Wii U version, assuming you're playing alone, it's like... It's like it's like it's an AI controlling um, the character while you're controlling Murphy. Yeah. Oh crap. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I so think. It's like, so it's just like you got to keep moving the thing around just to make sure the character doesn't die. Yeah, pretty much. It's definitely uh, the Wii U version definitely works better as co-op. I'll say that now. Right. Because you don't like. Uh, ah. Making the AI do like do this stuff can be really annoying sometimes, especially when you want to get all the collectibles and stuff. You kind of have to like force them into a certain direction sometimes. Whereas here, you're, 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 it's you doing the movement. You can at least pick on the path you want to. Yeah, but like um, I'm not sure. I definitely prefer being able to control the character, but I think some levels just get it. Uh, some levels benefit benefit more than others. Like the um, the long like runner levels where where Murphy has to like take care of the obstacles and stuff. I think works better with the uh, with the uh, touch screen. But uh, no, something like this works fine. I think. Okay, better question. Like overall, would you prefer the Wii U versions of this or? Overall, I. Hmm. I suppose I'd say this just because I like being in control of the character. Oh crap. Oh god! <laughs> oh, I thought I died. Is there something above you in the middle? Wait, wait, go back. Is there something above there on that wall? No. Okay. That scared the shit out of me when you broke the wall. I was like, oh right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's nothing else here. Go! By the way, Murphy just drops it every time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I remember what I was going to say earlier. Um, one thing I'll actually have to um, disagree with myself on the first session where like, I said how this game... Uh... Oh, we missed one? Really? Wait, is it down wait, here? Wait. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was going right. to say, it looks like it's down there. Yeah, okay. Um, but like, I, I mentioned how the worlds in this game are a bit more loose with the, with the levels. Um, I, I'm gonna go. But I'm gonna go back on that statement because uh, the the lo the the levels in this game they still follow the specific theme of the world. So like with the exception of the like Barbara levels. Um, so I think I honestly don't think it would be that jarring to have like more of an origin style level progression, where it's more of a journey. And, uh, while this is more, the way this game does it is more convenient, I think I'd probably enjoy an origin style more, just because I, I prefer having the game actually feel like I'm working towards something, rather than just levels I'm playing, if that makes sense. This is, like, a bit too arcade I guess. Not so much arcade just video, too much, too video game because I- yeah, because even like Mario 64, even though it's a, you're dropping in paintings in that too, that there's an actual reason for it and you're still like exploring like the castle and stuff, and it's like still a ongoing adventure. The goal, you know, the goal is to get the peach and all that. Yeah, like... whereas the, this is just kind of levels in a video game, <laughs> and that's pretty much it, <laughs> which... Oh, uh, yeah. Also, it's worth mentioning just Thank now you. that um, during during the dojos, um, when you if you die in an area if you, if you fail if you die in an area, it, it your uh, the timer keeps going. Right. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> this sound. What are your guys' take take on that though? Like, what kind of progression uh, do you I prefer? Mean, I, I do prefer more of a like like a reason to do we're doing all this, but it's yeah. like because like the, honestly the, uh, the, the the wizards in this one feel more like an excuse. Yeah, this feels like like in terms okay. of just like giving a reason for this game to exist. It's like uh, the, the, let's just have the guy clone himself, whatever the hell happened. And just, and just, uh, how, oh my god, um, I think it was like stomp really quickly, like in succession. We'll just do that. That works too. And that's the end. But, um, yeah, I, I don't know, I, I've come to the realization that, like, having a reason to need to do something in a game is a lot more important to me than I originally for but I'm not I'm not necessarily asking for like grade A storytelling or anything, but just give me a reason to do for me to do the things I'm doing. And like I need a goal. Yeah. I need a goal and a reason to do it. Yeah. Oh, what does she say? What's I'm gonna Ursula stick say? with Ursula but Ursula is okay my sweet Ursula's little sister is also meeting spy but she's more used to Secret is on exotic islands in the middle of the ocean. That explains the flashy outfit. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with Ursula though. Olympia is though my favorite one in the next world. Right. Well, she's even in the picture there, yeah, uh, Ursula. Yep. <laughs> All right, time time for the obligatory elevator and beat 'em up elevator sequence. Yep. Got to always got to have one of those. Actually, um, going back to the whole storytelling thing. Uh, one one thing that made me realize this the most is um, the um, Shadow Dimensions and Azure Time. Whereas like, what Shadow Dimensions as a game is just better, but the way it's done is a lot more just kind of video gamey. Like it doesn't really, the levels themselves don't really connect in any way. Uh, whereas Azure Time is just an ongoing story, and while the level design just overall isn't as good. I, f I just find it more engaging because it feels like everything I'm doing actually has a purpose. Whereas Shadow Dimensions just feels like, again, levels in a video game, which I just don't feel as satisfying personally. Right. Also, that's how you slide down walls with your trident. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And now we got got uh, obligatory elevator sequence. There's the Splinter Cell mooks. Oh, that's oh, cool. Like, <laughs> the, way, the way you just roll in like that. It's really cool. Yeah. This is the most low-key fight music I've, I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah, right? I'm glad I finally got to s get that stuff on my chest, because that's been, like, so that's something, those are things I've been wanting to save for, for years now. That's it. How much do you guys value story in games overall? That most, um, most video more game stories are good. Base, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna say, I'd Scrappy? Say, I don't oh. value plot that much because most video game plots aren't that good. Uh, I think it depends. I like, plot, but I like some plot more than no plot. Yeah, I think it also depends on how much you're expecting out of it. Cause uh, uh waste time. Is there anything down here actually? Oh, okay, nice. Really, it depends on. It just really depends on the game. Yeah, because like, if, if you have a good plot, I think it can make a, a good game even better. Because, like, um, I don't know, like, uh, some Zelda games are a good example. Like, uh, if uh, Ganondorf wasn't such a good threat in Ocarina of Time, I don't think the plot in that game would have nearly as much, uh, like, it, it would be nowhere near as effective as it is. That's... 
that's probably where I stand. Like, I need plot in some franchises, ugh, some franchises more than others. Like, yeah. Mario, just give me one excuse of one sentence plot and I'm good. Yeah, um, like, it, 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 old school boy. Yeah. It just like main series Mario stuff, like, uh, I, I'm usually fine with the bad minimum. Um, at the same time, it, the thing is, in terms of Mario, though, it's like, because that you, because like I understand that, but then I think the Galaxy One. Yeah, I feel like yeah, for Galaxy One side plot. Even though that's also a bit more mm. show and than tell than. Yeah, I I I get that. Like I, I mean, I'm usually okay with the bare minimum with like the main series Mario games, but like, I I I do like the uh, Galaxy there's One. The bare minimum, and then there's the the then there's the literal zero point one percent. I suppose. I mean, I do like it when they go the little extra mile like Galaxy 1 and Odyssey do, whereas like, it's not a lot, but it's just a little bit more to give the the story a bit more meaning. Whereas like Odyssey, like Bowser has an actual effect in the worlds you're going to, and it just, right, yeah, just little stuff like that. That's all that's I'm really asking for. Inspire 2, Inspire 3. <laughs> yeah, that, that's all I'm really asking for. Like, it, it should show me the effect of uh, the, what the villain is doing. Like, I, I think this, that this, uh, well, you're doing something right anyway. It did, because otherwise sometimes you could just be like, all oh, right, it's a villain. Yeah. And I, I, uh, yeah. <laughs> and the funniest thing is, like, uh, Ripto gets that right in the bad game. <laughs> uh -huh. But... Add it with some air quotes. What? Add with some quotation marks. Because <laughs> Harry's being dramatic you know, again. What? What? Enter a dragonfly is bad. Wait, you talking about Enter a dragonfly or Ripto's rage? I forgot. Um, no, 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 no. I'm no, talking. No, I'm no, talking about no, Enter the Dragonfly. No, Ripto had no Ripto had almost no presence in the second game, which is a good yeah. game. Yeah. Spartan. Yeah, much more presence in the fourth game, which is a bad game. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, that's what I mean. I still like. Yeah, because. Roasting Ripto's rage a lot last year. <laughs> I just want, I want to make it clear for anyone who uh, g takes this stuff the wrong way. I don't hate Ripto's rage. I think it's a good game. I just think the story is flawed. How dare you have an opinion? Yeah, I mean, I'll I'll I don't I'll say this how much. Dare, how dare you, How dare you not think something is bad and stick with that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, I knew I was done. Hey, that we can see our panties when she inflates. <laughs> but no, um, girl. I I will say this uh, in terms of Ripto. I like how we always ri this Ripto subject is just never gonna die as long as I live. Um, I will say this as a character, he's my favorite uh, villain in the series. But as a villain, that's where he kind of falls flat. But, I'd be in this horse enough as it is. You're gonna beat, be like, you're gonna beat it again when you finally do it to the dragonfly proper. I'm going to have to mention it, so I don't know. We'll, we'll burn that. You're gonna have to work for it. You're gonna have to the game eventually. <laughs> yeah, but we'll burn that bridge when we get to it. This won't take that long. I suppose. <laughs> Although game is, game is way too short. <laughs> Well, thank God, because I don't want to deal with it for long periods of time. Short is the least of its problems. Yeah, I know. Uh. There. Jeez. Thank you, Invincible. Uh, oh, good thing you had that heart. Yeah. Rubber ducky. Duck. No. Thank God that doesn't kill me. That'd be funny if it did. Death by duck. Wait. Good shot. Oh, this is pretty cool. So if it okay, so if he ah! does that, then oh hey. Oh whoa. Okay. No no no, I'm not dying after that. Yep. One more somewhere in here. Up there. Ha! That's cool. I like that. Oh, okay. 
So this is just gonna alternate. Yeah, that's what. Yeah. Bitch. <laughs> I hope there wasn't anything up there. Well, you have all the TKZs. Yeah. This is the last one. Yep. This girl's the last one, I mean. Do, do, do. Crash trees, water levels. Uh, I can kind of see what you, I can kind of see what you mean. Tubes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of which, I, I've been pl uh, playing through the, I don't know if it's the bow or the beta or the alpha, but like I've been playing a version of Battle Crash 3 and it's, uh, some of the changes have been really interesting. Uh, well I mean, since we're in the uh, since Scrappy mentioned the water levels, I swear they made Deep Trouble, like, the night shows. Uh, I, I swear they put the nitros in more precarious locations because I died like five times trying to get through the like the red gem path or like Because like I swear they were closer together or something because like trying to get around them was just really awkward Better hitbox this Yeah, and also there's no checkpoint before that segment too. Oh, oh god So uh, if you die you have to do you have to go back to wherever the other one was and that got really annoying really quickly. So, uh... Yeah, thank god they made that easier in the final build. <laughs> oh boy, this one. Oh, they're, they're, yeah, this one's like, insane. There's always, always a, a bigger big. fish. There's always a bigger fish. And a lot of fish. <laughs> what? But yeah, Rain Man, we cannot escape the Star Wars memes. <laughs> but like, uh, actually, is that what this line is? That what this line do you know this line's supposed to be a Star Wars joke? No, well, I mean, like, there's always a bigger fish. It's been a thing for a while, but they, uh, Qui Gon's is in Phantom Menace. But like, this is. Oh God. But yeah, remember what I said hey, about. Okay, right? How you? How you doing? Yeah, how you doing? He, this guy was also part of one of the trailers, I believe. Um, yeah. Like th this is. I remember seeing this up a lot. Yeah, this one's pr this level can be pretty hard, but like, this is like, basically, an uh, amalgamation of all you've been through up to this point, at like really high speed. And again, it's just one of those things where like. God. <laughs> I just love how they managed to soak so much out of this. Later. Yeah. And it just I think oh, this oh. Mm. I think this level works because like you've seen what these obstacles are up to this point. So you know how to react to a lot of this stuff. Whereas like if it was just random stuff uh that was just taught you now, then it'll be really messy. Yeah right. Gosh, it is messy already. Yeah. Get to the cleaner lady. Man, th this, this is a really fun way to wrap up the world, I think. Very intense, very adrenaline pumping. I will say you're a lot better at this than I am. <laughs> well, I've also. Okay. I've also played this game full, like, all the way through, like, twice already. Jesus Christ! Oh, uh, I ran at the very, very end. I yeah, I messed up the chip. That was literally the last thing I'm doing. You died right, at it, right at it, right at it. Yeah. Feels bad. There we go. Flush him down the toilet. That's good. What a clog head. I'm not funny. Yeah. Oh man. It's awesome. out for the boss. Yes. This one's a pretty fun ah, one. Ah. Actually, but this creature's on the cover. Oh! Huh. Alright, sure. I forgot that this had I forgot this had an invasion. I Gosh, think you gotta do it at this level. 
in back, back in reverse. Yeah. Or rather, it's the same area, just not flooded anymore. Yeah. We're not as flooded. I remember this one being pretty fun. You just keep the speed going as much as you can. Hi! <laughs> Out of the way, Mama's baking cookies. Have we said what we think about the invasion levels as a as a concept? Fine. They're fine. Yeah, I can just wish some of them were a tad easier. Ah. Uh, Only because mm. some of them are some of them are just a little too cold. My liking in terms of a timer. I suppose. Some of the. Uh, I, 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 that didn't feel right. Yeah. Some of the ah! Dark Rayman ones can be kind of no, no. Nope. How long is this? Ah! No. Oh. Uh, Dad, that wall just screwed us over. Um. Yeah, some of the Dark Rayman ones took me ages first time. It's not so much figuring the right path to do it, figuring it, doing it quickly and efficiently. Yeah. So it is, can be satisfying though. Um, it's like, you swear you're doing the path correctly. Yeah. I do prefer these over just having regular time trials in Origins though. Because those are literally just play the level again, but be, f be faster, faster Sonic X. This is like full new level design and stuff. Ah, oh, God. Go! Oh, okay. Woo! You are literally just. Oh my God. God. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I think we had an even closer time in the last session. <laughs> yeah, they, these levels can be like that sometimes. It's like when that's the when that's the uh, the likely time that you're ending it on. Yeah. Amendment creation. Also, I like how about that, that that character was the one from uh, the second world. I think it was from the first world. <laughs> hmm. That Ursula, like, sorry, that, that, uh... Barbara character? The Barbara sister. Yeah, I think so. Oh. Yeah, boy. Back from time again. Just traveling on this obvious 3D model. So uh, we're about like we're about four fifths of the way through the game at this point. So um, Dang, seriously? Yeah, there's only one full world after this, and then just extra stuff after that. Um, uh, so with that said, uh, how how have you like from everything you've seen, Scrappy? How would you say this compares to Origins? game with its even with its smaller level count i say has a bit more variety in what you do yeah i'd agree with that i do i do miss some of the level tropes from origins though i i wish they brought back the mosquito yeah, um, yeah actually i'm kind of surprised they don't right, have that my, uh, yeah i heard you say got <laughs> anything else to say but uh, besides that? I'm just surprised how short- I, you said this game was short, but I know it was that short. Yeah, it always surprises me how quickly this game goes by, because, like, on the outset, this game has a lot of levels in it, but then they go by so fast. That's true. Again, I just think if they just had one extra world, I think it would have been fine. Gosh. Honestly, they probably probably could have added another world with the with the uh, like uh, the uh, the the when they re-released it for PS4, Xbox One, and all that. But oh well.
so we'll probably not be working on a Rayman game for a good while. <laughs> Still don't know what's happening with Beyond Good and Evil 2. God damn it. Yeah, that kind of sucked. <laughs> I get the feeling we're gonna get our Mario and Rabbids before we get our Rayman platformer. I wouldn't be surprised. Just give us Rayman 4, please. Have you played, have you played Kingdom Battle yet? Me? No, I haven't. You should get it. I have the game. You should play the game. The most of game is a. Oh crap. Dang it! Apparently that game is the reason that we got to got Grant, Grant Kirkhope doing music in Smash Brothers. Yeah. I mean, that was probably the star of it. Well, it's just like, how can I compare to Tony Kondo? Yeah. Or, or, or is it more like, how can I compose music for his character, for his character and all that? Yeah, I, lo I love, like, I, like I, I've seen, like, the videos of, like, uh, like how uh, Kirkhope uh, got the role for the music of the game. And he had no idea it was for a Mario game. <laughs> yeah, 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 because it was just like, they put me in a room and they wouldn't tell me anything. Yeah, so like, when they found when he found out it was a Mario game, he kind of had a like, panic okay. attack. It was just like... <laughs> for one reason, yeah, he already did game Mario games, technically. I mean, I suppose, but definitely not something to that extreme. Weed on the mod the whole time. I'm <laughs> <laughs> being a dangerous little fella if that's the case. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh man. I'm also reminded of the, the, the piggy banks from Rayman 3. Bop, bop, bop. Bob, Bob. Can't my head back. <laughs> Breaking all the piggy banks, bro. Open the door. This place truly is magical. <laughs> what is actually going on? Uh, that was in the fairy council, right? Yeah, fairy council. Uh, what is actually going on Beyond Good and Evil 2? Because I, they, they haven't, I haven't heard, a, the, heard anyone say anything about that for like a couple of years now. Sure, let's prolong Glue Glue for a little bit. Uh, this one's hard. <laughs> yeah, this and the fifth one uh, are pretty rough. I would already do this in that one tricky treasure level we did back in um, Origins. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> that was. A, I think that was. A, I think that was when we started talking. I think. I think oh, yeah, God, I God. think I vaguely remember. I vaguely remember just like if you beat this in like ten tries, you'll upset. You'll upset. You'll make the scrappy upset. <laughs> Something like that. I didn't die like as much as you were wanting me to, but I did die a bunch. I think that was us talking about. I think that was also when we started talking about like the ship and all that. <laughs> yeah, that's when that's when it started, I believe. Like we mentioned one game. Well, no, well uh, no, it was like it was like, what do you want for your birthday, Scrap? And he goes into a night trap. Yeah, I remember that. And then he just went into a whole another tangent. Yeah, yeah, we spent like twenty minutes on that. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> I need to rewatch that, that Let's Play. I do not remember anything we said after that point. I only- uh, all I can remember- all I can remember now is just our- just our question and answer. <laughs> yeah. So I remember talking about that Night Trap thing for ages, but I don't remember anything I said. Oh, that's where it ends. Nice. I was expecting- Night Trap. I was expecting that to be a lot more difficult, honestly. Bam, 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 bam. All right, glue, 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 glue. There's only one. Yeah, that's the only one. Glue, glue. Uh, this, this is. One's really, this one's really rough when we do the one. When we do the A bit later. Yeah, this is one of my favorite ones to play through, though. 
Time for the Vonage song. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 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 I remember this. I know this is a song. <laughs> Isn't this song actually called Woohoo? <laughs> Probably. And also those I weird creatures. But a lot of stupid people doing things on commercials. And you got these guys back from Origins. Whatever these things are called. I don't remember. Yeah, I know they have a name, but... I think they're just eels. Right, they're like... I know, I remember there's like a level called like, Murray of the Deep. Right. What? <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> that, that, that one gets me every now and then. Yeah, I always just ground, uh, do a ground pound. You ever win the early... There's one more later on that can also come messy. Yeah. Ugh. God, uh, yeah, all I can hear is the modded song. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, also, that, that's the ship from the... Huh? That's the, the, the ship that was flying in the background. That was the, the thing from the end of Origins. Yeah. That's actually kind of cool. Or the Lodge commercial where everyone can, like, broke their window, baseball. Yeah. I got the, the wood. Like, Lodge commercials. Yeah. And now we're back to the island. Boy! Yeah! That went a lot sooner than I thought it was gonna go. Cause like jumping out of the water sometimes with a dash it feels a little weird. Hmm. Especially with the explosion things, like those fireballs like get dangerously close. Yeah, I just yeah, it gets to a point where you just kind of ignore them. Yeah. Cause it, I got sometimes I feel like they're just gonna kind of nip me in the butt. Do we get any new heroes? I guess we can check that out. No, apparently not. Um, let's see. Raybox. What's going on with Rayman? Oh, wait, wait, I have one idea. What's going on, what's going on with Rayman? Oh, just regular Rayman. No, uh, I was going to talk about Rayman uh, Mario. Oh. Because there's one thing about that one in particular I really like. If you hover. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's the wing cap. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> That's a really cool detail. Yeah. Alright, let's, let's I, I only know that, I only know this after watching the TRG run. <laughs> yeah. Cause you know, I cause you know I played the PS4 version so the so I only had the uh, the Assassin's Creed outfit. Right. Although it is although I really do have the Assassin's Creed outfit. Alright, just making sure everything was fine. Okay, I wasn't expecting oh, to get that much speed. Uh, dang it. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. It took me a moment to catch up. <laughs> like, oh jeez. Are you on a small delay right now, Scrappy, or is it just me? Ah oh, crap. Yeah, Scrappy, it's kind of delayed, or is it just me? There's a, there's a bit of a delay for me as well. Yeah, it's like mm -hmm. slowed down a little bit, but the audio is coming out completely fine. Same huh, right. It's pretty bizarre. Yeah, like the audio is coming out completely fine for you, right, Scrappy? It's fine for me. Yeah. Like, I can hear the sounds of you beating enemies, but I don't. But like, it's like way behind. <laughs> wow, that was really generous. Yeah, okay. right, seriously. Huh. Okay, I think we're caught up now. Alright. This guy's just having a party over here. Is that everything? For Seem now. Seems so. Things will be ready. I know we'll get the rest of the levels open up once we get once we finish with the rest of the evasion. Yeah, you can definitely tell like 
Uh, the trophy's not there. That that will that that appears when you get like every teensy in the world. So you know there's more if that's not there. Alright, what did you got? When toads fly. Indeed. Oh, I remember this one. Yeah, I do say Vaguely. This one's just, this one's just <laughs> cluttered. Yeah. Yeah! No, no I didn't, that no. Cool. That's not what I went. That's not what I wanted to do. Wait, you can jump. Yeah, I know. Okay. I was, <laughs> I was trying to like hover like immediately, but I was too fast about it. And so you jumped? Yeah. Don't grab onto the wall. Don't die. Three, two, one, go. Okay, that was the first to start. Don't like these missiles. All these missiles. Indeed. Huh! I have an itch on my head. <laughs> and I must scratch. Scratchy. Oh my god. So, question uh, for both of you: uh, Would and would you free, <laughs> would you guys prefer if they if they ever bring back Rayman for another game? Would you prefer a three D one or a two D one like this? I feel like we. I think you asked us this a few years back. I rem I I probably have. I don't know if we've ever talked about this on on. Uh, like, camera before. Um... Yes. The answer is yes. Yes. Oh. Did we? Yeah. 